Do you want to supercharge your short videos and dominate social media? Well, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you three simple edits that you can start adding to your videos right now to make them more engaging. Let's dive in. Your video's hook is arguably the most important part of your entire video. Your hook is that one to three second moment in the video where a viewer is going to decide if they're going to keep watching or scroll on past. One of the biggest misconceptions about a strong hook is that it's all about the words you're using. But really, the words you use are only one piece of what makes a single hook so powerful. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a video pop-in effect to the start of this video. Now to do this, you need to have your video pulled up. What you're going to do is click on the preview window here. It's going to pull up a bunch of settings for this clip. Then we're going to go over to effects. And I can see we have these animations here. So I'm going to add a pop-in effect to this video. Now if we play it. So with the name chosen, even if only temporary, I'll and kind of see how the video jumps in at you. Let's play it with the effect off. So with the name chosen, even if only temporary, I'll just, so you can see it's just a head talking there, and then we'll add the effect back in. So with the name chosen, even if only temporary, I was ready to just, although it seems simple, that added motion of that pop in effect can be extremely effective for grabbing someone's attention. The next thing we're going to do is add sound to the video. Every single day we're bombarded with notifications and sounds on this little device right here. And we've essentially trained ourselves to pay attention as soon as we hear that notification. So by adding in sound effects at the beginning of the video, we can instantly capture someone's attention with that initial sound effect. So to add a sound in here, we can come and we can scroll down and you can see there's this add sound effects with magic sound. But this is going to add sound effects throughout your entire video. So we can see we have a sound effect here. If we scroll through, we got another sound effect here. We have another sound effect here. So that's one way you can add sound effects. But if you just want to add a single sound effect to your video, you can right click in the timeline down here and click insert sound. Now we have a bunch of sounds in here already, but we can actually search sounds as well. So let's type in, so let's type in notification bell. We'll play through a couple of these. Okay, so once you pick your sound, then we can drag this anywhere we want on the timeline, wherever we want the sound to be. And I'm going to put this right at the beginning. And we'll play through this, and I'll hit play. So with the name chosen, even if only... You can, you can kind of hear, I don't know if you could catch that. Here, let's play one more time. So with the name chosen, even... So it's very subtle, but what we can actually do is we can crank up the volume on this thing. So let's take this to, we'll say 150 for that sound effect. And I'll play again. So with the name chosen... Okay, that's better. So we got that pop, and we have the video actually popping in when that's happening. So now we have a pop-in effect and a sound effect that's going to help pull someone in as soon as they land on our video. Now the last thing that we can add to this video and make it even more engaging is some other visual element other than my face. This is obviously a talking head video, but someone new who lands on my video is likely not going to know who I am or recognize me in any way. So by immediately showing my face on screen, that alone could get someone to scroll away. So instead of just starting with my face as the first thing that they see on screen, we're going to add an image, video, or GIF to the beginning of our video. So to do this, we're going to come back down to the timeline again and right click and choose insert media. And I can see we can search royalty free videos, GIFs, stickers, icons, and more. And now the very first thing that I say in this video is we've chosen a name for our podcast. Okay, so I'm going to type in podcast here. And now we have videos, images, and we have GIFs. I actually like this one. We're uh, making a podcast. So we're going to throw that one in the video. And once again, we can scroll down on the timeline. We can move this wherever we want. So I'm going to put this right at the beginning. And with the settings on the side of here, we actually have a couple different options as to how we want to place this in the video. We can choose our alignment here, and then we can resize. We can make this full height. We can make it half height or fit to frame. So we'll just take a look at these. So that's full height. Here's half height, and then fit to frame. Or we actually have the ability to resize it ourselves. So we'll just drag these out. Now let's see how this looks. So with the name chosen, even if only temporary. So with the name chosen, even if only temporary. Additionally, we can come in here, we can add animations. So we can have a pop animation and we can add a sound effect to this as well. So we're gonna do, we'll try pop three. And once again, I'm gonna pump this up to 150 again. And let's bring this to the front and see how that looks. So with the name chosen, even if only temporary. Now I actually think that this GIF would be better if it popped up after I said that first line. So I say with a name chosen, even if only temporary, I feel like that would be a great point to add this GIF in. It's like, uh, we're making a podcast. So let's watch this from the beginning once more. So with a name chosen, even if only temporary, I was ready to start planning out what an actual episode would look like on the show. I feel like that fits a lot better for this particular video. All right, there you have it. There are three extremely simple things that you can do to your videos to hook more viewers in and increase the engagement and view times of your content. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more content like this.